I just wanted to put in a short disclaimer to this video. I've been dealing with some issues regarding my TBI lately. So if it's a little rambling, a little off focus, I do apologize. I just feel an obligation to my subscribers and those who watch my videos to make sure that I put content out. So I ask you to look over any forbles that may be in it. But I'm starting to feel better and getting back on my feet. So hopefully, if this video is not the best, the next one will be better. Thanks a lot. This is Dan. You would not believe how many times, as small as my channel is, I get emails asking, when will the SHTF event happen? When will society collapse? It's almost as if people believe that it's going to be a sudden, overnight thing that just brings down everything. And in a way, it could happen that way, you know, if an asteroid hit the planet, which isn't likely, or a super volcano went off, which again isn't likely. But in general, collapses happen over time. They happen because of small, seemingly insignificant situations that grow and snowball into something else. Because of some personal events that have happened over the last couple weeks, I've got to spend a lot of time at just home, keeping an eye on the news, watching some of the things that have been happening. You know, North Korea, more recently, the stuff that happened in Charlottesville, Virginia. And it's given me a moment of pause, a moment to think about the division that has grown in this country over the last decade or so these small splinter groups that have formed and are wreaking havoc and chaos all over our country and allowed me to think about why that is and what the outcome of these small little conflicts, what the snowball effect of that could possibly be and mean for our country. Like I said earlier, it's going to be small things that build upon each other that snowball into an event that will cause an SHTF event or without rule of law. And I am starting to believe that we are seeing the first of these puzzle pieces falling into place that are going to bring us to that precipice that could cause a WROL situation. I believe that many of these little splinter groups have the capability of causing actions that will lead us over that cliff. And I wanted to talk a little bit more about those today. I've worked really hard since the time that I started this channel to not fall into the category of the fear mongers the people who prognosticate oh this is going to happen and it's going to be horrible and this is going to happen I've never wanted to be that type of channel and I'm not trying to be that way now I just see these puzzle pieces of things that are happening in the world let's take North Korea for example the provocation shooting back and forth between our president, President Trump, and Kim Jong-un are dangerous. And I believe that whether intentionally or accidentally, that President Trump has kind of painted himself into a corner with the comments that he's made. That if another threat is made, that you know, a whole fire and fury thing. Now, don't get me wrong. I believe wholeheartedly, if it came to military conflict, that the United States military would completely raffle stomp the North Korean military. That's not what scares me. What scares me is what I personally experienced dealing with the Iraq War and the Afghanistan War 
is that we are quite capable of taking out the enemy but our long-term planning of what happens now after they've been defeated has been a problem that you can see on the news any day of the week if you pay attention to what's going on in Iraq, in Afghanistan, the power vacuums, and the things that are happening afterwards. I firmly believe that the Chinese will not allow a unified Korea. They do not want a democracy right up against their borders. And I firmly believe that we, the West, in South Korea, will not allow another communist dictator in their north so it just escalates the problems that would happen there and if North Korea or China were to attack South Korea then that would be the lighting of the fuse for a third world war so I'm trying to see what options we as a country would have in dealing with North Korea without endangering our own lives and the lives of our allies and friends. And as far as these little splinter groups, you know, such as Antifa and the white supremacist groups, the alt-right groups, uh, the alt-left groups, I think a lot of us are underestimating them as just entitled young people who have no ability to do anything but protest and throw bottles and maybe burn a building here and there. But the accident could happen that sparks an escalation of their ideals and their actions that could cause and bring about a bigger event. And I think and worry about that all the time. I do think that, as I said, that we underestimate these groups, and I believe that could be dangerous. I believe even if there were a WROL event, that many of these groups would remain, and we would have to figure out a way to deal with or live with these type of people.